back to the channel. Sorry we don't have an intro. There was an overlap in vlogs so I wasn't able to do an intro. Currently recovering from COVID. <laughs> I feel like my life was just a movie but you guys will find out all about that in the future so hope you enjoy this vlog. Okay, I just got this delivered from Take A Lot. It is a smart heater. I'm gonna be doing like a review on um, my Instagram. Let me tell you why I got this. So the reason why I got that and I'll be reviewing it is because guys, my upstairs is so cold and I cannot carry the gas heater up. Like it just does not make sense. The gas heater stays here. And aesthetically, I'll be honest, gas heaters aren't the cutest. So this is supposed to be the cutest aesthetically pleasing um, heater out there. I got it in white, I'm excited. And it's low on electricity. So the reason why I was like, I'm, I ain't doing heaters is because electricity, honey, electricity. So anyway, I ran out of tissue. So I just got some from Woolworths. Uh, I'll be very honest when it comes to tissue i love buying my tissue from clicks i just love that special of this it's always so cheap to buy like the 18. but i don't think have time i'm just gonna rip this i don't have anything what i got is i got some um, bassinet and i'm not gonna have bassinet anymore because i prepped the salad uh i got sun-dried tomato pesto The red pepper, ooh, focus child. Red pepper and chili pesto. Yes, I lost a nail, guys. Ooh, I need to see my nail tech. And then a normal basil pesto. And then I also got the extra virgin olive oil spray. So my dietitian did suggest I get um a spray rather because it's easier to control portion when you spray instead of having too much and you know what like i agree with her so yeah are you one of those people i don't know i'm one of those people where if i get something i literally have to rip it apart immediately like it has to be opened even if like i'm rushing somewhere Sometimes I'll open something because I want to see What is that called? Tandizi Being a Laika of things So, yeah That is off um, I had run out of balsamic vinegar Actually, I'm not putting it in that jar that I put it in the clear one Because it went off Like it had stuff floating And I think it's because it wasn't in a dark bottle so i'm just gonna keep it as is i'm gonna place them like this together i know they don't match but it's okay because the whole thing of chasing aesthetic there via that bottle is not working more bananas for my protein smoothie off the gym and um, some chicken this is what we're having for dinner a piece of chicken and 
the salad that I already made and then I'm going to make a basil pesto and um, mayo salad dressing for my salad so let me show you the mayonnaise I'm going to be using which is carbs tomatoes portion control is everything so I only put like a tablespoon of this um, and then I'll put like a tablespoon of this and then I will sort of like how do I call it I will thin it out with a little bit of water so thin it out with water and then you put it into your salad it is so good oh my god right chronicles of a working girly good morning guys i am off to work <laughs> it is currently 9 29 i'm supposed to meet tk at 9 30 i have one minute to get to santa <laughs> Ah, do you guys think I'll make it though? Um, yeah, I should. So I'm off to shoot some content for Decorex with Mr. Price and collab with Mr. Price. So excited. Um, yeah, I'm actually cur currently loving this wig. It's so easy to just throw on. Um, I currently have. Did I show you guys my wig, Conrose? Yes, I have wig, Conrose. So I just throw it on and I just spritz it with water that's mixed with conditioner in the morning and diffuse it with a blow dryer and like it's ready to go so yeah um I should be there in like two minutes like he can give me one minute right because I know he says he's shooting someone after me so I definitely I'm not supposed to be playing um the late game so let's get there Ooh, I need to remember that I parked at P5. Oh, this is so bright. Hey guys, so I made it. I just finished shooting with TK. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. So I have a meeting now at 11 that I need to try and rush home for. Um, so we shot in like what, 30 minutes? Yeah, like 25, 30. We did it in 25 minutes. So he's 30 gonna minutes. 30 minutes and then he's gonna send me the footage then i'll do the voiceover and then send it to clients before my event tonight i have a busy what day. event is that um it's disney guys i oh. look so cute today i look so cute okay oh hi guys how cute lexus is the sponsor of decorex and they have all these lexus Car is parked outside, so cute. I don't wanna know. Oh god. If you creep it, just don't let me find out. Girl. So I asked the client if they could move out the meeting by an hour, like yesterday, and they were like, they can only give me 30 minutes. Or I'm like rushing home. <sighs> meeting, meeting. Oh! By the way, I'm gonna be in Cape Town. Yes, the meeting is regarding me being in Cape Town. You ladies will be seeing me in Cape Town. So I'm just gonna extend my stay because who will come to Cape Town and not extend their stay? Not me. Excuse me. If the world was dead, would you cry or would you try to get me? Tell me now, God, what did you be glad? Okay, I made it. First task of the day complete. A day in the life of an influencer. I feel like this week is just going to be like showing you guys how busy I get. So I woke up at 7 to get ready for this shoot. Done. Let me stand so you guys can see my. These are so cute. Like, you know when the girlies were posting cotton on jeans? No, they were not playing. Um, this is all the campaigns I have to shoot this week. They're all due, except for that one. They're all due by Monday. I have a meeting in 10 minutes. So let me just quickly show you, and then I'll grab my laptop and set up for the meeting. So one day only, please... Um, that's also Jew. That's two reels from that. This is one reel, but the first reel that I shot today is Jew later today. Um, so I'm just going to wait for TK to send me the content so I can do the voiceover. 
Oh, I had placed my phone in there. Um, this is from the extra collection. This candle is so nice. I think I'm gonna place this in my bedroom because look at the lid, Sana. I mean, look at how cute that is. And then this reed diffuser. This reed diffuser is just giving luxe. And then it's obviously my new linen that's gonna go with the um, um, the what do you call this? The inner that you guys saw me buy last week. Ooh, these are nice scented sh um, sachets. I think I should throw these in my linen cupboard to keep my linen in there. And then another thing I wanted to show you guys that's so cool about this heater that I got. So it says it's infrared converting heating, adjustable panel temperature from 60 to 120 degrees, adaptive climate control, it's odorless and harmless, um, 700 plus watts, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, I'm not that like efficient. Strong and thin tempered 11 millimeter glass. It's made in Poland. And the nice thing I love about this is that it's actually controlled by an app. So like, let me explain like what if one of the coolest things. So like I said, one of the reasons I really wanted that heater is because I can't carry my gas heater upstairs. So I'm gonna be using that in my bedroom. So one of the coolest things is that if I go out and i know it's really cold like i'm at a event i'm like oh my gosh it's so cold i can actually go on the app and switch it on about 20 minutes before i get home just to like warm up my room so that when i get home and i undress like the room is warm enough for me to undress because child that room upstairs like will want you not taking off your clothes you'll literally First, what I usually do is like I warm myself up in the electric blanket, then I get out and remove my clothes and switch to pajamas. But yeah, absolutely love this fit. Oh my god, it's so cute and stunning. I think the hair um, is what's giving. And then I'm gonna film the reel of this outfit before before I change into my evening outfit. So I need to do that after my meeting. So let me grab my laptop and set that up and go on my call and then chat to you guys. There. I'll deliver the products um, to your house once they've received. I think they're going to, the masterclass products are arriving tomorrow. So I should be able to drive past on Monday if that's okay, if you're available. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, cool. So uh, you only have 10 minutes to set up um, between so it has to happen quite fast but we do have promoters there to help you and they manage the process super fast um, in terms of the number of people we have 80 guests uh, for the master class um, if you don't mind just moving it down our little um, if we go further down it's the yeah, master okay guys so I'm gonna open this now why are you me? because I dropped the call so I'm calling you back it was on now. Uh, What's up? Huh? Ryan, let's see what we got here. Can you not play copyright music, please? Manual? It didn't fit myself. It didn't fit myself. Some directions? For when you want to mount it on the wall. Okay. So you can either mount it on the wall horizontally or vertically. And then this is for the floor installation. I'm going to do floor installation. So. Comes with the pieces. Ready.
Just showered. I need to retouch my face. I just got out of the shower. It is so shiny because of the steam. Um, also, I need a lint roller because I tried using duct tape and it's not working. I think I should ask Tulani if he has for me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call him, ask him if he has some for me, and then I'll just like pick him up. I just called Tulani to ask him for a lint roller and he's like, he doesn't have one because he gets his, and I'm like, how? Cause you wear suits all the time. And he's like, sweetie, I get my suits dry cleaned. <laughs> Excuse us. Okay, so guys, I'm going to touch up my face now. And, oh, I'll have to <laughs> put on some Vaseline because it's cold. I don't know, but like, I feel like when it's cold and I use Vaseline on my body, it just works. I mean, I don't genuinely use this in summer because I get too hot. Oh my God, not me thinking I could reach in here. But when it's cold, I don't know what it is about this, but the way it just keeps you warm. And the best way to use this is straight out of the shower, by the way. While your body's still wet and you look in that moisture. And I love this one because it smells so good. This is a cocoa butter one, guys. And my sister was laughing at me because the other day when I was like to her, oh, it is so cold. I need to go grab some Vaseline. And you know what? Vaseline is the girl she can choose. I mean, like even just as I apply it, I'm already starting to feel warm. Especially if you know it's stuff and you're going to events and you know it's stuff that you're not sure if it's going to be warm or not. But when it's cold, rub this on your cheeks, okay? This will keep you warm. <laughs> rub those cheeks, okay? I don't know what it is, but my ass gets so cold, guys. I don't know. My ass gets so cold. Whew. Okay. You know when you have a big ass, you gotta make sure you get both sides. TMI. Okay, how are we gonna fix this face? So, I know I was eating, so I messed up my chin. So let's start with that. So let's do this. I'm gonna take my powder. This is my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in shade Cappuccino. My packaging has literally seen better days. But this is because it's almost done. You know that saying, I need to powder my nose? This concept, this was born from that concept because when you get weighty, just go powder your nose, know darling. And then I like to apply the pressed products, reapply those. It just gives you a fresh little look, you know. And for this, you want to make sure you dust lightly. Not too much. This is the setting powder you had used under your eyes. Just refreshing that makeup. Giving it that... just did it now kind of look but we did it hours ago and another thing you're going to reapply is your blush oh where did I get all of that every day you apply that powder you're just gonna reset uh, so 
now, like I said, oil press stuff. I'm going to redo my blush because that's barely there. Do you see how already, look at the difference between this side and this side. It's called Refresh, darling. Ain't nobody got time to be redoing this. Then we're gonna just apply more mascara. Okay, so I am done showering. I did go back into my jeans. Um, I'm not trying to make too much stuff dirty. And anyway, the theme is murder mystery. So I was like, let me be a little detective that's out in jeans. You know, detectives in jeans and a blazer. Perfume, the combo that I'm doing today is Fenty and this Lancome. This one is the one that I told you guys you can't do more than two spritz. Two spritz is enough. And this is the one we are going to bathe in. Oh, I can spray my blazer. <coughs> that I'm gonna wear with the outfit because I'm trying to get a little sneaky detective vibes. This is giving old school but <laughs> it's not giving the fit that I was going for but anyway. Um, it's a bit last minute for a look because I got approached for this campaign like really late. So let's put on the blazer. The blazer that I couldn't Lint roll, we changed bags into this one. Um, also another sheen bag. I realized guys, I have been forgetting to put links. So I'm so sorry, I will link everything. Okay. This is a blazer I got in Italy, but it needs a lint roller. Like, look. I don't even know what to do. I want to take it to the dry cleaners when it's dirty this time around. I'm going to do what Jelani does. Dry clean. We're not oh, yes. I remember what I wanted to do. Uh, oh, I'm going to choke. So there's these. Plus this bag. Um, I really put my lip stuff in here. My lip gloss. Do I go matte or should I do a gloss? Hmm. Like the matte is giving though. I won't lie. The problem with these bags is that they make everything look a bit dark. As in, it looks like I don't have enough lights on the footage. Okay, let me decide whether I want matte or gloss. Hmm. Matte is kind of giving. My little glove, so that I look like I'm not trying to disrupt the scene. Let me show you. This is my cousin's glove. She left them when she was visiting. I can't find the second one. The thing is, I know it's somewhere around the house. Do you see how cute it would have looked with the second one on the other hand? No, I need to find the second one. <laughs> for it. Okay, I've decided to go for my glasses instead. So, there, this is my detective look. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I think it'll look cute. We do, I think I need to buy like a hairspray. 
like my hair deserves its own perfume i'm not saying i don't wash my hair but like i wash it i just feel like i can't be spraying my spray spray on hair or maybe that's more than enough like i can't be doing too much yeah no hairspray no 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 we're good i have too many perfumes i need to go through And then we have Kimango. What is time? Olivia. Uh, it's like 22. Um, uh, this was supposed to be Spongy. Oh, this one you did? No, this one is Olivia. This is Olivia in the name of the document. Yes. They swapped the photos. You think so? Mm. And then. I know it. Guys, I don't know which one of these. We have. Ooh, she has singing. Too much, hey? Too much, I'm telling you. Then we have Leah. Okay. 
friend, you read and then we'll, I'll help you. Ooh, me. Uh. <laughs> Nisha. We have Nisha. One of them committed the crime and as the Did detective... Did I have been all this wild shit on your vlog? Yes. <laughs> if you see DK in the streets and you are one of these people on the list, I'm giving you permission to slap him, silly. No, 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 no. That's not gonna. What are you guys talking about? This is a banging. Joke. Good morning guys. It's actually warm down here. I left the heater on and I was like dressing up upstairs and it's quite warm. I don't know if it's the heater or but there's not that much sun. It's usually cool down here. I'm going to lunch. So I'm carrying this bag again. Um I'm going to place let me see if it fits my phone. I currently have my wallet in here, my car keys, and my lip gloss. Yeah, fits my phone. There we go. Um, so, why is this so dark? Uh, where's the... Is the lighting on here better? Woo! Uh, uh, guys, we need a new... Come on. I'm just trying to show you guys the outfit. I am wearing my linen pants from Pick and Pay. This top is from Pick and Pay. This coat is from Superbalist. The bag is from Sheen. And then, remember when I told you guys how comfortable those ASIC um, sneakers were? I'm wearing those. I'm just gonna put this on the floor. How I look. Yep, I am wearing those. And I'm off to pick up my friend. We're going for lunch. It was his birthday yesterday. So, just a quick. Not lunch. Breakfast. Why am I thinking lunch? I'm so tired from last night. Last night was me. Do I need to spray my hair with more water? I think so. What is this? <laughs> it's like an old... Goliath camera. Imagine having to use this to vlog. <laughs> <laughs> from brunch with Mama and guys I just took off I needed to pee and I had to take off these pins um I'll actually show you how this works later but I'm just not in the mood to tie it back so these are the pants that I got you guys saw as we wear them together as a two-piece my stomach is still not in the best shape yet but I want to show you something when I first got them, they were here and 
literally this is where they said come to be now like it's quite loose um whereas when i got them they were fitting and another thing about linen is that it stretches so this might be an over exaggeration of how far it's stretched but ever since i got them this is like only my second time wearing them and they can already sit below my waist my belly's not bellying so much anymore which is good good we don't cast last last now everybody go to our breakfast Shayo. Ricky, after that session, Tandy killed me. How does if it anyone feel? Thought Tandy was gentle and sweet and caring. I am. I am Not all those gym. things. She went That's why you checked up on me this morning. I am all those I'm things. I'm never checking up on you again on a Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks for the gym session, friend. It's a pleasure. I actually enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, I have to keep up now. That's the problem. Yes. She's yes. created a whole problem. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna do it. I know I you will. I know you will. I trust you. We don't cast last last. Now everybody go to breakfast. Have to say bye bye yo. Bye bye yo. To the love of my life. My ayo. Don't cry yo. I need people and shadow. I need people and shadow. I need people and shadow. I need people and guys listen that mop has changed my life like completely changed my life i can't believe how easy it is to mop the floors now and it's like steam water everything's done like i don't have to like you know like how, what do you call it when you like squeeze the water out of the mop yeah because that's one of the things i hate about cleaning so I hate touching the dirty water. Ugh. I know it has to be done. So um, that is a lifesaver. Like I'm going to be using that a lot. Woo! And thank goodness it came at the right time because my helper said she's going away for a while. So I'm just like, mm. when I need to clean the house, I will have everything on lock. I mean, I've got the electric vacuum to do the floors and everything and then we've got the mop steam mop like what more do i need oh like somebody to do the dishes yeah hi guys how are you i feel like we need to catch up uh but i just want to unbox my groceries 
What did I get? A high protein shake from Future Life. I want to try this. Let me just bring you guys a bit closer. I think it's too far. So yeah, I want to try these high protein shakes from Future Life. It's just like a little snack because I am weight training now. Whoa. Sorry. And then I got this Slimzy mixed berry squash, squash concentrate. It says living light. Way less healthy and weight management. Okay, so one of the reasons I got this is because I'd asked my dietitian for suggestions on things that I can drink, like cocktails I can make that are pretty healthy, and she suggested that. I also got the passion fruit squash flavor. So this is what they look like. Oh, I want to smell them. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is that smells quite sweet. Obviously, because you have to dilute it. One part to three parts clean drinkable water. This is the berry one. I just want to smell that too. Mmm, it smells nice. Okay. So I'm gonna be making like healthy drinks with this. Okay, and then I got more of my soy milk. Um, I haven't really spoken about my diet that you put me on, but I am on an eating plan. I just got bananas for the week because everything else I have, I didn't want to like go too crazy because I actually am going to Cape Town on Friday. So I got three of these protein shakes. I don't think I want to have like a lot of them in one week. So I think one a week. I was actually supposed to buy one to try. I don't know how I ended up buying three. Oh, there was a special. There was a discount. Then I just got some Future Life protein bars. Okay, so these are supposed to help with sugar cravings and chocolate cravings. I had one because I am, it's like three days away from my period and I'm starting to crave things like cake, chocolate. Like yesterday when me and y'all were out for breakfast, I was like, oh girl, can we share a piece of cake? And we did. So I tried this and it's actually not that bad. Um, so I have three of the chocolate crunch, these ones. And then I got three of the high protein light. These ones have less sugar. Then I got the peanut butter crunch. So now I'm having my cheat meal today. So I have not eaten up since I was in Cape Town, like when my mom made it. So I was like really craving it. So I put some lamb in the oven and then I'm about to make morojo and bap because that's what I feel like. We did a little catch-up session. So I thought I would sit down for this. I wasn't. I first thought about it and said, should I do a different video? Then I was like, it doesn't make sense. Like, we always catch up through vlogs. So I just felt like it didn't make sense for me to do a whole separate video for this. So yeah, I did say I was gonna fill you in on what exactly uh, was the result. After seeing the dietitian and having my blood test done. So let's first start off with the reason why I decided to have my blood test done. So I'm trying to find a comfy spot. Okay. So one of the reasons why I decided to have my blood test done 
is because I think for a very long time, guys, uh, you guys have witnessed me on this channel going on about like wanting to lose weight, always wanting to lose weight and always going on these different diets and it's like they work and then I gain it all back. So I think you guys also got frustrated <laughs> as much as I got frustrated with trying to lose weight and it wasn't necessarily an obsession. Uh, I do kind of feel like without me filling in, filling you in too much, you'd feel like it was an obsession. Maybe you got to a point where you're like, oh, why is she obsessed with this? Um, the reason why is because I, I wanted to lose weight for health reasons and, you know, just be a healthy person. I do want to be around for a very long time and I just feel like, you know, uh, taking care of your health is really important. Every time I have seen... You know, I've done um, tests where they check your weight. They always uh, advise me to lose weight because I've always been, for my height and for my age, the weight I was at wasn't quite healthy. And the thing is, for most of you, you've known me after I already started putting on weight. You guys don't know my old, like, size that I was so used to. Um, and I think... For the longest time, I've just been trying to just get that weight down, okay? So, after I went to see the dietitian, when I told you guys I went to see the dietitian, we did tests. And also, one of the reasons I did tests is because my mom has thyroid and she has, um, you know, she's had issues with her high blood pressure in the past and also recently um had been diagnosed with diabetes so like there was a couple of things where the doctor was like i think your daughter's at an age whereby she also needs to check if she is not in this position because some of these things can be passed on you know uh so some of these things are genetic so the doctor was kind of worried they're like oh your daughter should definitely check especially if she's the firstborn she should check so i was checking based off the fact that i knew something was wrong i knew there was a reason why i struggled to lose weight so i'll be honest every time i did diets guys i got as far as losing two kilos nothing ever further than two kilos even though i tried some of the diets that got people to lose like six kilos eight kilos and i was always asking myself like what's wrong with me and i realized that that two kilos the whole time was water weight so i wasn't really losing weight that is why i'm saying it was a struggle i did keto um i even asked yours how she lost weight and she's like to me oh i did walking for 30 minutes at you know the 12 3 30 and then she did she wasn't doing much i did the same for a month and i struggled to lose anything beyond two kilos and also that two kilos would literally come back within a week if i hadn't gone to gym or like just based on small little things like the weight would come back so i struggled with that for a very long time so after seeing the dietitian when i told you guys i was seeing the dietitian she did close to 17 tests like she ticked 17 tests like i remember when they were drawing blood i was like oh my gosh guys this is a lot of blood that you're drawing and we were gonna check my thyroid we we're gonna check um pcos because she asked me questions about whether do i have hair growing you know i had i was concerned about my hair uh on my chin because i was getting that lasered and you know uh we checked thyroid because of my mom diabetes we also checked uh insulin in case i was insulin resistant iron there were so many different tests that she had them check and i was like okay all right we checked them uh it took about a week for the results to come back so then i followed up and i told you guys that i finally went to see her got my eating plan and then i got my results and the weird thing is that when she told me my results we went through all of them right we went through the 16 the first 16 which was everything and she was like everything is fine so uh, i was so happy because i was so stressed about you know if i had thyroid the that would mean i'd have to take medication for the rest of my life like my mom 
and um diabetes i don't want i didn't want to be diabetic because i i've seen my mom having to like you know get her sugar levels right and stuff like that. i was like so worried about those things so when she went through all those things and we're like 16 of them down i'm like yeah now we get to the last one which is what i have guys and uh, vitamin d insufficient she was like oh we're glad it's not deficient it's just insufficient i'm just like okay so this is good news because in my head i had never had anyone heard anyone speak about vitamin d insufficiency or deficiency i had never heard anyone come up and say guys um this i'm just checking my if my mic is on um this is what i am dealing with i had never met anyone in that case like i've seen people with pcos uh, who struggle to lose weight i've seen people with thyroid uh a hyperthyroidism is it hyper or i'm not sure which one it is that makes you actually gain weight because that was the case with my mom she actually gained weight the first time she was diagnosed she gained then she lost when she was diagnosed with hyper um with thyroid sorry um so i've seen those situations but i didn't take the vitamin d thing so seriously when she was speaking about it, i was just like okay um and then she was like to me oh so we're gonna put you on some vitamins and basically my diet um when i look back she structured that to have a lot of things she did mention that the diet was also focused on including a lot of things that had vitamin d which were like my fatty fish so like more eating more salmon eating more this and um people you know my first question if you th if you thought this was isn't vitamin d something to do with the sun is it because i'm not like i'm like i'm in the sun we're in africa like how am i not getting enough sun and yeah after she explained it well after she told me about it i didn't realize how much of it i didn't understand till i came home and i researched and it explained so much guys like it explained so much so firstly when i looked at the symptoms that you are vitamin d uh, deficient or insufficient i didn't realize that this is what i had been going through for the longest time and it was signs that were telling me that i obviously ignored or didn't take seriously enough or like in my case i thought were completely something else so one of the symptoms um i'll start off with the first symptom which is the back pain or body aches so when you have back pain or body aches it is a clear sign that you may be vitamin d deficient or insufficient and you guys have heard me complain about my back so much that i thought that it was caused by my breasts and um that is why i wanted i was considering getting a uh, breast reduction i still might consider it because i don't know if they'll ever go back to being small so but uh my dietitian did advise that i should not do the breast reduction now till uh my levels are back to the to normal because i might lose a lot of weight and if i do my boobs before i lose weight they won't look as great as i want them to look so i um, she advised to hold off for now while we are getting my body back to where it's supposed to be so the second symptom that i had that is one of the symptoms was hair loss so um i've mentioned i've been complaining about my hair lately you guys notice i went back to wigs and i've been doing protective styling it's because from nowhere and i think this also happened the first time i relaxed i remember the first time i relaxed i was starting to lose a lot of hair so i was worried about the fact that i wasn't able to take care of my natural hair and that is why i relaxed and then now all of a sudden it started again where i was losing it again in clamps and i remember the one day in the shower this was way um i think it was about a week before i even saw the dietitian and finally decided i needed to do something that had blood tests i went into the shower i went to bath at my sister's house i i think you guys remember that part of the vlog where i was like oh guys i haven't had power so i'm here at my sister's house showering i went there i showered and the amount of hair that was falling out in the shower 
I cried in the shower and yeah, I wiped my tears. Thank goodness I was crying under the, like in the shower because, whoa, child. I was just like, what is happening? Why is my hair falling out? So then in my head, I thought I was insulin resistant. I was like, no, something is wrong. Something is wrong. I mean, this is the reason why I'm struggling to lose weight. Blah, blah, blah. You know, when you start panicking and stuff like that, I'm like, mm, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, my hair started falling out. Um, even the last wash day, I still had a lot of hair loss. And my hair is quite thin. I saw it with my ponytail, really thin. I also saw it on when I was on set. Um, I mean, everyone was saying your hair is beautiful. But like in my head, I was just like, this is not what my hair looks like. My hair is full. My hair is just, yeah. So hair loss was the second thing uh another symptom that i was struggling with was like anxiety so anxiety can and uh, uh depression i would get anxious for like the smallest of things and it would really affect me i remember also i'd go days where i can't vlog i can't leave the house um i just don't want to be around people i'm avoiding people um I'm, not, I'm trying not to create content also it became so hard for me to like come up with ideas like i would come up with something and i'll think it's like really dumb and not want to do it and i would do things last minute and like i would feel so under like so much stress over small situations and it turns out that is also um, a symptom. And I think another symptom, if I'm missing one, let me just have a look, guys. There are a couple of symptoms that I experienced. And it was just like, it just, when I did all this research, it just started making so much more sense to me why um, I was experiencing this. The battery died and I had to charge up for like a good 30 minutes. But I think we're talking about fatigue and how uh and tiredness and how I just like feel extremely tired so this is one of the things that i express so for me this is one side effect that i knew but i didn't know what what was causing it because yeah i didn't know i was vitamin d um insufficient so i literally just told her i'm like um i'm struggling to lose weight but i also have an issue where i'm like always extremely tired i don't know what's causing it all i want to do is sleep like it even got to a point where my sister was like if there's anything people can pay you to do in life if like you don't succeed as being like an influencer or like you ever want to quit you can get paid to sleep that's how much i used to sleep uh, i remember even when we were in cape town my sister was like how do you sleep so much yeah, like guys, I could sleep like the way I would sleep was so abnormal. So it got to a point whereby even now when I would want to go to the gym in the mornings, I just couldn't wake up. And you guys, if you remember me, I used to be team 5 a.m. at the gym, like 6.30 sessions. Those were my jam. Like that was my jam. And it got to a point where I couldn't. So I definitely knew that there was something wrong that um i obviously don't know like i didn't know what it was and i just knew i had to have my blood um tested and then the other side effect from this was weight gain so if you are vitamin d deficient or insufficient you can actually gain weight and you can actually struggle to lose it if you are consistent in the gym or you're doing everything right and eating everything right and you're just one of those people like me who's asking yourself like what am i doing wrong like i'm doing literally what all the other kids are doing and i just remain the same i lose the weight and i gain it back in a week or two so yeah let me see if there's any other I think I covered all of them. So basically, only when I got home and I did a little bit more research did I realize the severity of it. And I think I mentioned in my last vlog that now that I've started taking my supplements and my diet has changed, I haven't been as tired. Um, I think that's why I've had more energy to vlog. I also haven't been... Um, 
feeling a lot of back pain when I train as much. Like the back pain has reduced, but I think it still might take a lot of time for it to go back to normal. Yeah, uh, I'm still losing hair though. So I don't know, that might still take a bit of time. And also for weight, we are losing weight because I did have a, a two week update session and I didn't want to talk about it till I knew like, okay, it's <laughs> literally like real, like this is what's been causing me to struggle. So already in the first two weeks, we've lost close to two kilos uh, and which is a lot because if you guys heard me like i would struggle to lose two kilos in one month from like training and some people could train and do things and be on a diet in a deficit and lose four kilos guys i did all of that and i couldn't even lose more than two kilos so to hear that i lost close to two kilos in like literally two weeks and she said two weeks but i honestly hadn't even started eating properly from day one because i had my birthday party and then i had lots of cake and then there were so many events so i did kind of like if i had started my diet when i was supposed to start i could have gotten to the 2kg mark by the time i saw my dietitian but anyway um i just want to do this in a healthy way this time around uh the goal is to lose body fat i'm not chasing a number on the scale i am trying to lose the body fat in my body just so that i can be healthy i don't want to have heart issues or like you know just be in a position where i could be you know i don't want to be uh, why is english running away from me english mara english i don't want to be at risk I don't want to be at risk and know that it is caused by my health. I want to be in the best healthy shape possible um, internally and externally. So for some people who look at me and say this is a good shape. Yes, I look good in size, but what is inside is not good. So like currently like my body fat percentage is uh, off the roof the charts are like screaming so currently right now what i am doing when it comes to gym and eating gym wise i'm doing body recomposition so if you guys know if you guys don't know what body recomposition is this is when you build muscle and lose fat so this is the slower way of losing fat because i know a lot of people don't like this because they get obsessed with going on the scale so with body recomposition is that you might go on the scale and not see any changes but you will see changes in the mirror you will see changes with your clothes and you will see changes when you actually go and have your bmi properly like tested at a dietitian who's got like the scale that actually checks how much body fat percentage you have so that is the route i've taken and the food wise like i'm enjoying everything i'm eating it's not bad i don't get hungry uh i'm just taking it at a slow pace so when i went to the dietitian i was 76 kgs 76 the goal is to reach like 63 65 so slow but steady so the reason why i did say i wanted to share this and then it might help someone is because when i also looked did my research vitamin d deficiency insufficiency does affect a lot of black women and that is because even though you know most of us if like you're watching this and we live in africa our skin um sometimes does not allow us to absorb vitamin d from the sun it actually blocks out the sun that is a nice thing because i mean that's why black women don't age quickly we don't crack you know because our skin protects us from the sun um even though you're still supposed to wear sunscreen so uh i would advise you guys to have that checked i mean i know you can claim it back from your um health insurance um so definitely like from your medical aid so definitely think about it uh also if you are someone who's been struggling and having issues with things like weight 
and other things i do advise to just go have your blood work done and figure out what the issue is i think a lot of us tend to overlook a lot of things like me overlooking my well i didn't the minute i started losing my hair i just realized no because i don't play with my hair girl so that's when i realized but i shouldn't have overlooked my back problems i shouldn't have overlooked the fatigue i should not have overlooked the anxiety because the anxiety i was just like oh maybe it's because i'm an influencer and i'm like just in a very stressful industry and this is what's causing me to become so stressed out um maybe it's comments maybe it's this and then i realized i wasn't getting that many troll like hurtful comments as i used to do anymore so i was like mm, yeah so i think don't let's not overlook a lot of things just get tested i mean if even if the results come back and they're fine it's always good to know i mean like for me out of 17 tests only one came out you know and even though i didn't realize how serious vitamin d is it is actually considered a hormone so any any vitamin deficiency can actually affect your weight guys any vitamin deficiency in your body can affect your weight and vitamin d is also considered a hormone and that is why i've been struggling so um it just felt good knowing uh where i stand i am obviously taking vitamins and you guys are just gonna go on this journey with me again it's just part of life like literally uh you guys are like my online family so this is just another hiccup in life we figured it out and then we'll see how it goes how it goes so yeah and i think this is why i'm more excited to to go back to gym now that i know what's wrong and now that i'm taking my vitamins i have so much more strength in the gym now and i'm not always so tired i'm not always so tired so yeah that was a little update i just thought i'd update you guys i'm sorry if it was long i'm sorry if it was repetitive but i just wanted to check in and let you know what's going on so yeah i'll check you guys tomorrow i'm gonna go to sleep because i've got gym in the morning it is almost uh it is 20 to midnight i'd like to go to gym in the morning because i have work throughout the day so i have a lot of work this week before i have to head out to cape town excited to be in cape town but yeah loads of love guys i love you guys so much Ooh. this i always my healthy eating manual so sometimes when i want like a snack i'll go through it because let me just show you she like gave me snack ideas literally and sometimes when i don't want to eat what's on the uh meal plan she's basically ex explained how i need to plate my food mm, other lunch ideas and i don't know what to eat i also have like a portion list so i know um how much of everything i need to consume in a day and everything is basically structured according to my weight so it's important to see a dietitian because everything will be structured according to your weight and your maintenance uh calories in your body so the meal plan i'm currently eating is based on my maintenance calories so yeah that's the previous vlog was from june was from June, July. Is it remote? And I haven't lived for that long. I don't know why you live so much more. Oh, not me switching off the TV. I was trying to pause. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Um. Wow, we are tired. Remember when I told you my energy is still adjusting? Um, did I actually take my vitamins yesterday? On the days where I forget to take my vitamins, my energy is so low the following morning. I was supposed to wake up for gym at 6 this morning. I didn't go. Um, so now I am trying to get all my deadlines in. I have about three deadlines today. One, I'm waiting from TK. He has to send that to me so I can review it and 
give them any changes before I send it to client. Ooh, and then the one is the two other ones that I filmed at home. Guys, I got this super cute from Pip. Tell me why I dropped this last night as I was going to bed. I spilled all of almost all of the tissues are in here. I just need to get an, a refill of something else to place in here because wow. But it's cute. I love the aesthetic it's giving. It's very cute. I just don't I actually don't really like the scent that's in here. Here's the tissue that I wiped and I just got so lazy to throw in the pan. Let me throw it now. Oh, I just got my lashes done today, guys. My eyes are so red. My hair's a bit of a mess. Um, Boyd's is coming over. I think Tulani is coming over. I'm not sure who else is coming over. So I just want to quickly pop into Woolworths. I'm going to feed them Woolworths. Definitely feeding them Woolworths after my party. So... Let's go grab some, a few things, like essentials. So guys, here are the current vitamins I take on a daily. My vitamin D, uh, magnesium glycinate, I think. Um, this helps this work better, apparently. I just did my research. Uh, Y'all don't take my word for it. And then my cranberry plus and my probiotics. Okay, um, so these two are definitely a must by my dietitian based on my results. And then these are additions. So, yeah. <laughs> this one in the song, Kula Foot. The Emperor and Conqueror and the Ambassador. Yes, show me. Cheers, the real one. Period. Yesterday we're facing chairs and now we're facing chairs. I even got tipsy from that. From from. from Are you serious? The mimosa. I literally had to stop. I dozed off. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my god. I first spoke to your mom. Because it's slightly loose. 